Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Savage Saturdays here on the Drinking Bros Podcast. I'm your host, Derek White. Joining me, as always, it's Owen. It's Owen. We just wanted to take a second and let you know that today's episode of Savage Saturday is sponsored by GhostBed. GhostBed's been a loyal sponsor of the Drinking Bros Podcast for over four years. Everybody loves GhostBed. I love GhostBed. I'm the proud owner of two ghost bed mattresses and two pillows and right now if you buy a mattress from ghost bed you get two free pillows and if you go to ghostbed.com slash drinking bros you can save 25 percent that's ghostbed.com slash drinking bros grab yourself a mattress two free pillows get some good sleep enjoy the show Good to go. We're back. Welcome back to Savage Saturdays. Welcome back. Welcome back. Owen, holy shit. It's been, it must be like three, three and a half weeks since I've seen you, right? Yeah. I haven't seen you since Sean was here. No. Right? Yeah. So it's been, uh, <laughs> it's been an it's been interesting yeah. few weeks. Yeah. Um, and so this is, this is Savage Saturday episode number 27. Our episode numbers got screwed up there for a while because, well, and just like you talked about, um, Owen records these shows on what do you call that? There this is a Rode uh, Procaster deck, or no, so, Procasters so, are the mic. So it's like a like a deck thing. It's a soundboard. But then you have your laptop there, yep. and then as one, a backup, the before before Sean came, we recorded an episode where we did questions from the internet. But you forgot your SD card that yeah. day, and I was like, "It's cool," and like, "Oh," and I, I was got like, it. "And I was like, will it work? Yeah, and yeah, it'll work." And it'll I was totally like, "Oh, the worst thing that can happen is we record an episode." I know. And then find that it's unusable. Guess what yeah. happened? Yeah, it was unusable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Unusable. And then um and then so actually last week we subjected the listeners to um an old episode. As old from the garage. You could just I, I, I skimmed it because I, I didn't even know um, what it was. What it was. Yeah. And I remember and I didn't want to put that out because I was or and I told you I was like there's if there's a re- if I didn't want the show to go live there must be a reason and i right. just remember i didn't listen to it i was like oh i think i was too like mumbled up that day or we tried to cover too many things at once or something right but anyways um i saw that like last week we were putting out fires because um i got sick yeah what'd you I get got, what'd you get I sick got, with Derek? i got sick well like ross or somebody whoever wrote the caption for the podcast said i was awaiting a uh covid19 test yeah which um which came back what positive (laughs) (laughs) yeah we 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 got it we got we got wrecked covid19 yep fucking wild dude i can't believe it yeah you were like i'm not feeling good and i was like oh okay and i jokingly said oh it's probably covid yeah and then it turned out but the 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 chances that your chances of getting covid are so low and then once and then so like your chances of getting covid are low and then if you get COVID, your chances are low of having symptoms. Right. And then if you have symptoms, your chances are low of being critical. Right. And then if you're critical, your chances are low of dying. So it's this, you know, every, everything is low probability. But, um, you know, I, I understand one of the things I understand about COVID is um, it's not that it's more deadly than the flu or something like that it's just mm. more infectious well it's you don't way more inf- it's way more infectious you're infectious before the symptoms come on so you're still walking around transmitting it when normally yeah, they don't they say that's not really a thing though and like at once you like so no like it's just it's just way more infectious that's the thing so if it's like six six out of a thousand people die which isn't any worse than six out of a thousand six out of a thousand or something like that yeah so would, it's I, I don't qu- I don't believe any of those numbers that they put yeah. out at this point. Yeah, because well, that's the other thing. It's it's hard to believe anything, but totally. But anyway, so I believe you had it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So uh, like, um, do you want to know how it went down? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, it's just like so it was um it was so today of uh, recording this today is um Wednesday August twelfth. This episode will come out Friday the fourteenth. Yep. Um, Saturday the because we used up all our throwaway episodes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, apparently we have one more, but I like I, I don't know what it is. Yeah. No. No. But so um, <clears throat> so it must have been Saturday. Let's see. So it was Saturday, um, August first. Is that is that how the calendars work? Yeah, that's Saturday. So Saturday, August first. I just uh, we I woke up, went to the gym, 
was feeling all right when, when we went to Bass Pro Shops that day. Stacy and I took the boys to Bass Pro Shops. Yeah, that's my to, Disneyland. Just to play on the boats and we'll look at the fish yep. and stuff like that. Yep. And while we were there, I started getting like, just like my, my mouth was dry. But mm-hmm. I also, I didn't have water with me. I forgot my water at home. And it's hot as so, fuck. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I was like, ugh. And you're wearing the mask. And yep. I just I just was not feeling good. Just miserable. Mm-hmm. Miserable, t- but typical Las Vegas summer. Yeah. And then in, then there was there was fire smoke coming in. That's right. California that Mountain weekend fire, yep. and I have asthma. So yep. I was just like, oh man, I just, you know, I just need to get home, drink water and I'll feel all right. But as Saturday went on, it progressively got, you know, worse and worse. And I was, um, I was like, uh, I'm getting sick yep. I, or I feel it coming on, you know, and then I was supposed to go shooting with Stacy Sunday morning at seven. And I was like, why don't, why don't, um, why don't you go without me? My mom watched the boys. My mom lives right behind us here. Um, and then Sunday, so Sunday to Tuesday, I was just out. But I've had the flu before. Yeah. You know? Yeah, we both um, had it back in December, and yeah, it wrecked both yeah. of us. Yeah, so really, really what this was is, like, I had a fucking gnarly headache. Okay. Just a gnarly headache. Yeah. I mean, uh, it was, but it was, like, a sinus headache, you know? Mm-hmm. And then I had body aches, okay. and I got a fever. So, I mean, it, it could be a serious sinus infection. Could just could be, be a the lot flu. Of I know, it could be a million things, yep. you know? But I was... um. I was, I didn't have chest pain and my breathing was okay. And I wasn't coughing much okay. and I was, I was checking my oxygen yep. and it was low, but above 90 still. So usually like, it's like me, I, I usually, you know, I'm, I'm healthy. So like 98, 99, but my oxygen was like 91, 92. Okay. Something like that. So I was just dizzy. Um, and, uh, but it was, yeah, it could be a million things, right? Even though COVID's going on, there's like what? 50,000 cases in, um, Nevada or Clark County. And we have a couple million people here, you know? So it's just unlikely. Right. But, but the fear is there. You're like, you get sick, you you get sick. You're like, fuck, is this COVID? You know? So what? So I didn't, I didn't go get tested and I, I isolated here, but just like any, we would do any other kind of sickness, you know? But then on Tuesday, Stacy, she got sick. She got sick, and I was same, like, same, oh, same thing. Same I was like, "Fuck, that's that's fu- okay." Um, shit, and then it was just kind of on a whim. Then so Stacy got hit. So my my mom was watching the boys. Um, and and during the pandemic, we were like, "Man, we should just take every precaution." possible you know and so i told you i was like hey man i'm sick i don't know what i got right just maybe playing on the safe side yeah, maybe, maybe you shouldn't come over let's record something you know? later and then even now it's it's i'm, I'm in my corner we yep. are definitely you are good, on the other side of the room <laughs> yeah it's a really <laughs> long table um and so we got tested um on friday and then saturday yeah, you text me and you were like, hey, it's a good thing we waited because I got the COVID. Confirmed COVID-19. Yeah. And so um, a, a, a Tuesday, it, the worst was over. So it, like the worst of it was Sunday to Tuesday, just like 48 hours laid out. Oh, really? Bed. Fever, um, yeah. body aches. And then, but then, but, but so like, it's still been bad. Like, so let me ask you this, because you actually went through the test. They, there's different kinds of COVID from what I understand there's COVID-19, which is the pandemic one, mm-hmm. but then there's also like the cold also is a kind of COVID. Do they well, differentiate that there's at different all? coronaviruses. Maybe that's what I'm there's talking There's one COVID. I'm talking about the, the corona. So yeah, no, okay. the, the, yeah, this, this is COVID. Back COVID is, is a specific disease. Got it. Coronavirus. There's a bunch of different kinds of coronaviruses. Yep. So this uh, is what no, happens we, when you read COVID. too many, yeah. too many headlines. Nah, stick to Mayo. <laughs> stick, stick to yeah. Don't read the headlines. <laughs> stick to the stick. To, stick to the Mayo websites and yeah. CDC, and just what your doctor says. You know, so we, you know, it's like these people are there treating it. You know, and they, they weren't. You know, so I got the test. We we got the test on Nellis. There actually, Stacy was able to get the test. I wasn't able to get the test. Is the swab in the back of the head yeah, type of swab, thing? Ooh. Swab in the nose. Yeah, that shit's fine. No, it was actually funny because like. Um, that test, they, they stick the swab all the way back in your sinuses. Yeah. Um, deep. Yeah. And it makes your eyes water a little bit, kind of chokes you up, but you're trying to like handle it all cool and stuff. Right. And the girl was done and she's like, all right, have a nice day. And I was like, <coughs> yep, thanks. Okay. Fuck, get it together, Derek, you know? <laughs> uh, yeah. So, um, Stacy was able to get the test on base there and, and she came back positive. So then I was able to get the test because yep. I guess the VA doesn't even test. And I looked last week, I kind of, you know, like, kind of like, 
was like, fuck, man, is this COVID? I don't know. I looked at the CVS, uh-huh. y- you know, but they weren't taking any appointments anywhere in town. It was right. like impossible to get a fucking test, dude. Yep. Really fucking hard to get a test. But also they tell you, um, stay home. Mm-hmm. Even if you think you have it, stay the fuck home. Don't come get tested. That's what the websites say and stuff, you know? Um, but, uh, for some reason, Stacy's doctor at Nellis wanted her to come in. It's like a case by case basis, you know, yeah. they interview you and stuff, but the protocol is just to stay home unless you need medical. Right. Tell attention. It like you get the extreme like breathing, version. Yeah. If you're, if you're gasping for air and your you know, your, your oxygen is dangerously low. Yep. Yeah. So we didn't have that, but we got, you know, we got the tests and yep. COVID. And then my competition is now in like two weeks, two weeks or something like that. So the competition is still on. Yep. I mean, as of, as of, uh, day before yesterday. They, so they say when you have COVID, you can re-enter society 10 days after your symptoms first appear. Okay. Which then, is today for us. Like we calculated it and that's why we're recording this no, today. No, yesterday, yesterday was day 11. Oh, today, okay, okay. Today's day 12. So we're good. Yeah. Yeah. And then 24 hours since your fever broke. We can like share cups and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the weird, the, the weirdest thing is like my, I had a, I had um, this really bad dizziness feeling. Yeah, fuck that. that. Lasted probably till Saturday or Sunday. I started working out again already last Thursday, so I went down. Um, okay. Saturday to Tuesday. You're unique Wednesday, though because of the level of that of working out that you do. Your your level. Well, dude, of it was activity. tough. It was definitely and I and if if it wasn't for the competition, I would have just laid there in bed. But dude, like, it, it, dude, when I'm sick, I just that's when I eat junk food. That's when I eat fast food. That's when I eat junk food. What'd you eat? I didn't break my diet nice. at all, but I couldn't. I was Discipline. like, fuck, because I'm so close to the competition. Yeah. If I can't work out right now, like Dude. I have to stick to my diet and I couldn't taste my food. My my taste is coming back. That's a really common thing with COVID. Yeah, to lose, you lose the taste. taste. Yeah, and um, Stacy's kind of freaking out because some people don't get it back, apparently. But that that can happen with all sorts of different yeah. um, viruses. Right. You know, so uh, and she's missing the flavor right yeah, now. Yeah, mm-hmm. damn. Yeah, mm-hmm. and she likes food. Yeah, she was. Yeah, she was freaking out, and she was like, "What if our taste never comes back?" And really, I was nonchalant about it. I was like, "Well, I mean, my legs never coming back. Like, it's just another thing. <laughs> you know, life goes on. What are you gonna do? <laughs> like, what do you? What am I supposed to be sad and like? God damn it, Derek, shut up. Bear? Yeah, like I don't taste anymore. You know, like, it is what it is. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I was uh, started working out Thursday. F- uh, worked out Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, been working out this week. Coming back online, Good. I think this week. Or you know, I think it was yesterday the first time where I start to feel. I started to feel a little bit of like inspiration, mm-hmm. like a desire to want to try hard. But right. I'm just fucking tanked right now, dude. Yeah, like I just get. I mean, I was in good fucking shape before yeah. this shit happened. I was, it was nasty. It was stupid how uh, the numbers and the times I was putting up in training. I was like, what the fuck? I was in amazing shape. Best shape I've ever been in my life. Nice. But now I'm just kind of like, oh shit. So like our plan for the competition was to just um, not even worry about the other guy, but try to beat the clock, yep. do our best time there. Yep. But now it's like. Got to worry about if possible. Guy. If I can, I'm gonna try to get like two, three reps ahead of Marcus and hold, it. and I'm gonna stay there, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and just hold that fucking line, you know. Yep. Uh, but but it's still it's 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 two and a half weeks away, which is soon, but it's still enough time to where I could be feeling ninety five, a hundred percent by then, you yep. know. So it's like been really about not freaking out. Yep. Um, didn't want to call off the competition because you know I'm not infectious anymore like i'll right. still test positive for quite a while because i have the antibodies and that's what they test for right the yeah, antibodies yeah i, I guess so it yeah so you had it. test positive but we know when i had it and as per cdc guidelines where i'm good to re-enter society again you know well, so welcome back every, yeah they, thank you yeah i went to the grocery store yesterday good job oh good yeah dude i played that shit you know we got co and we before getting it we played by the rules mm-hmm. you know like we wore our masks yep. we, like i don't we believe in them about as much as the next person, you know, but we, right. we weren't, we weren't bullshitting. We, um, um, following the rules, but and then we have no idea 
how we got it or where we got it. You know, like maybe I got it from the gym, gym. maybe Stacy got it at work, but at the gym, I wear my fucking mask and it's just, but it's, you know, I take it off when I fucking, yeah. you know, and like, and you know, you, you, you take your mask off a little bit here and there. Maybe you don't wear it properly all the time or something. I don't wear like it when I'm like running or doing yeah. stuff or if I'm in my car. I think it's weird when people wear their fucking masks in their car. Yeah. That's really dumb. Yeah. So really, so the doctors, they're saying like, um, you know, it's hard to, to get, to get coronavirus. You have to be within close contact from somebody who's showing symptoms right? Um, for 15 minutes right. without a mask right. and stuff. But if you, they say it's, you know, as infectious as it is. So it's like, fuck man. But still the numbers are fucking low, dude. And yeah. I, and I was like, and I'm not one of the people who's like, you know, Getting COVID isn't going to change my beliefs of COVID. It's still of you still have a really low chance of catching it, you know. Oh yeah. But then now it's like ah, when you get it, but it's you know we had to it kind of like th- through uh, we had to take it seriously because my sister is high risk now. Yeah. Um, because she's you going need th- to plug that phone in. Low battery. Ooh. <laughs> how's how's the battery on this phone doing yeah <laughs> yeah i just saw the little pop-up uh my sister um she's doing chemo right now so she's high risk and her doctors said basically you know like you cannot get covid you know do not get covid and then my mom has a kidney disease that's in remission but she's semi-high risk so it's just kind of like we got a us getting covid good we're good to go right sick for a couple weeks but there's some people in my family that cannot get covid right now yeah that's how talia is talia is high risk for it for what well she has like crazy bad asthma like her lungs have collapsed because yeah like i dude i have i was i have bad i've I've had i've had asthma my whole life Mm -hmm. but i think like the exercise i've done over the years has really improved that oh totally i still take my inhaler but like i you know my mom will tell stories about um you know, them rushing to me to the hospital as a kid from asthma attacks from just like not breathing in blue and yeah. grew up on a nebulizer and shit. That's like little glimpses that I remember from my childhood is just like me sitting on the floor watching the world go by while I'm on my fucking nebulizer, you know, <laughs> With your Darth Vader yeah. mask. Yeah. <laughs> this so, is normal. Yeah. So that's uh, a fucking COVID. It is what it is, you know? Um, well, while you had that, I was painting lots of pictures. I saw that. Did you yeah, see that? You, you painted, yeah, with uh, stencils. I did stencils. It was a bitch to cut out, too. Yeah, Because it was stencils. like five layers. And did you just get it? Did you just use a little fucking razor knife? Yeah. Did you, get the, did you get the special shit from Hobby Lobby? We don't go to Hobby Lobby anymore, by the way. Why not? Well, I love Hobby Lobby. Yeah. I used to, oh, like, I, I don't know. I don't know where my loyalties lie. Stacy is anti Hobby Lobby now. Oh, and no. we went to Michael's recently and yeah. I was like, Ugh. they have good shit. No. It always smells like not the same. cinnamon and pumpkins when you walk Dude, in. So they had a fucking whole rack of different pumpkin Ugh. scented candles. I fucking hate that. Dude, I know you're a fucking, candle guy, yeah. but that's not Dude. a good candle. Yes it is. It's the best candle. They pumpkin? Got, pumpkin is the best candle. Bullshit. Mm-mm. No Mm-mm. way. <laughs> not even. Pumpkin is the best candle, but no, Stacy Stacy and the nanny and the boys went to Hobby Lobby one day, like when they opened, mm-hmm. and um, say let's just say they open at nine. Stacy was wait. Stacy and the nanny and the boys were waiting outside, and then the lady said, "You can't come in because it's just the elderly that can come in right now." Oh, they the had like an elderly hour. time. Yeah, but here's and the she way, doesn't so, like them for that, right? Yeah, but <laughs> but but so it was like, but the the boys are sitting right there. There's right. the the store isn't overcrowded. Uh huh. That's not. You know, they're they're there. They're ready to go. And right. If they wait, they're going to fuck with nap time and stuff like that. But here's the funny thing. It was like, it was the only people allowed in were old people and sick people. Oh, So that's yeah. a weird comp. Like, it's right. just like the dumb shit, you know? So. <laughs> we will, we only want the so most guess, vulnerable but, and the most yeah, infectious to shop I guess, it together. I guess the lady was somewhat rude to Stacy. And so it was just kind of like a fuck Hobby Lobby. Well, I still like Hobby Lobby and I did get a special uh, razor blade kit and spent a fucking week cutting out five layers to make the the stencil of the MRAP getting exploded. Yeah. That's uh, that was the most intricate painting I've done so far. Yeah. And I only recently started painting again because you had all your yeah. artwork at uh, after this competition fair. i'm gonna bang out a couple yeah. things that i've had in my head but i don't mix 
I've, I've, been, I've been really wanting to play like the piano and the guitar and stuff lately. Yeah, but, no, um, one art thing at a time. No, I don't mix. I'm I'm just full competition. If I I don't let myself fuck with that stuff yep. at all, I'm just like pure focus. All, all I do is, you know, like I hit my workouts. I've been reading a lot. Um, just finished a really good book by my favorite author, um, Malcolm Gladwell. Oh yeah, I've read his. Yeah, uh-huh. which one? So, uh, Talking to Strangers. I haven't read that one. Everybody yet. needs to read that this year. I think I like the way he writes the the level of depth that he goes yeah. into a mm-hmm. subject. I remember the first one I read. I think was the Tipping Point. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. and he gets he goes fucking Mary deep Jane's, on some shit. The Tipping Point of Mary Jane. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So the uh, Talking with Strangers is really good. It's um, it's um, it's mostly about our overconfidence in understanding people, why people do certain things, why they act in certain ways, okay. you know? Um, and, Was, and, uh, it's just like our, it, it's, it's a good book yeah. and it's, and it's very, it's very 2020. Okay. He didn't write it because like, it's, it's weird how some of this shit was like, um, prophesized, you know, like Dan <laughs> Crenshaw's fortitude. He was predicting right. a lot of, or he was saying we're headed down this path and that book came out before yeah. the path emerged. And it was just kind of, so it's one of those things. I, I, I highly recommend everybody read or listen to Talking to Strangers. But I got a book coming from Amazon. You know what book I got? Mm-hmm. Uh, you know who Jack Carr mm-hmm. is? So um, his book, The Terminal List. Okay. I got that. That's coming in. That's a fiction book. And I'm not, I don't read much fiction. You know, so fiction means fake. You know, like... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> could, that word always I, confuses I, I me. Don't, I'm like, yeah, wait, so, nonfiction or fiction? <laughs> like, since I saw that. Grade, that word, I, I always have to pause. I saw that happening there. Yeah, <laughs> wait, I saw it in real is time. Is this the true so one or the not fiction, true one? Fiction means like Harry Potter. Yeah, no. And nonfiction is, um, you know, talking to strangers. But any, I, I, uh, his book Terminal List. I didn't know. I did you know he was a fucking Navy SEAL for like twenty some odd years? I feel like that's why I know his name. Really? Yeah. Yep. So I didn't know, but I was you know doing dishes or something the other night and i caught um i um he was on jocko's podcast probably like two years ago or something like mm-hmm. that but um i'm gonna get that book seems really fucking interesting nice. he, he seems like a really cool dude yeah I'm like you know because and stacy probably a couple months ago i guess he was on joe rogan a few months ago and stacy was like you should check out this guy jack carr and read this book terminal list i'm like nah fiction but you know but um <laughs> he's fucking legit super cool um so that's uh that's our that's our little update. I got COVID. You've been painting. I've been painting. Yeah. Um. I got a slapper. What is it? I got. I do. Like, should we should we go with it? Should we go with Timmy Trumpet? Yeah, dude. Timmy Trumpet. Like, so I was. I came walking into the room here, <laughs> and I was doing that beat. Most people. <laughs> So I, I I knew this song. Uh, there's You're a, welcome there's a video, if that's like, stuck in your head the, the rest the of video, the day. The video of the, the kid in the subway playing the saxophone and dancing around. I fucking love that video. It's it's old as shit, you know? So that guy that guy has an album out, mm-hmm. the saxophone guy. Well, is it this guy? Like who? Anyways, I, f- I fucking found that song. It's called Freaks by Timmy Trumpet. That beat is called, so it's like, <laughs> and there's words to it and everything so it's i i, f- I found that shit timmy <laughs> trumpet this is a fucking legit name timmy trumpet that song is called freaks but i really love um like just on i you know I, I use spotify so um um timmy trumpet this this song called oracle it's just got that like electronic bass yeah. that i fucking crave really love it's it's really good to work out to mm-hmm. you know um and then like fucking timmy trumpet this song called therapy it's funny before it's cool if that's yeah. the one that's therapy that the one that you just played no the the one the one that we know the saxophone beat one yeah the subway that song is called freaks freaks okay freaks before i deleted tiktok off my phone i had oh i had God. heard it on that why <laughs> why'd you delete tiktok Dude, did why you, did you get TikTok in the first place? I got TikTok. I knew TikTok was fucking Chinese spyware. I didn't know. I told you. Well, well, you say I everything. I remember telling you. No, like, you yeah. did. I remember yeah. that. But you say everything <laughs> on your phone is Chinese spyware. 
So I got it. I put it on my phone to to kind of figure out the platform and figure it out if it's useful. And you you were pushing me to get TikTok. I thought, dude, it's addicting <laughs> as fuck. Like, there's some funny shit on TikTok. And I was just like, no self respecting yeah. man in his 30s is yeah, trying to make a career on fucking TikTok, right? You know. And I right. still and, believe and that. And you're but in now, your 40s. Why are you playing yeah, with it? And then now, is it is it banned now or is it trying no, to dude, get banned? So. What it does, they that there was a senator I forget his name who is who is like, hey, here's it's Ted Cruz, wasn't it? It wasn't Ted Cruz. It was a oh. different guy. Um, I can't remember his name, but he was like listing out like it logs what websites you go to. It's a key logger. Well, Facebook and Instagram do that too. It's just yeah, the difference is but like they like we're turn giving, it over to the Chinese government. Yeah, so that's the thing. So like what there's so like here for like Facebook, they're not required to give the United States government our information. Correct. Facebook has all information. Yep, they have it. But in China, every fucking company has to has to give over by law. Every everything and anything the government wants. Yep. So that's the that's what's going on with TikTok. Like you know? I don't know what they would get from like most normal people's website traffic or what they're searching up, but I don't ever want to be in a position to where yeah. you can't unring that bell. Right. And you're like, fuck, I wish I wouldn't yeah. have put that shit on my phone. But even I mean like they're listening to us right now. Right now. You know it's through fucking, these microphones it's fucking weird man it's or those fucking phones. weird and that's yeah so why anyway that's, that song that i there that was a song that people made stupid tiktok dances to oh, and right. they were funny and i fucking mm-hmm. loved them mm-hmm. but then they had to go sell all that info to what's that dude's name g c oh, i don't even know what, what dynasty president? china is in no i don't know it's weird how there's like a country like that that lives almost so secluded are just controlled by the government. That's crazy. Like fucking Russia. You know, um, Russia just passed a, uh, they approved a, uh, a vaccine, a vaccine. Yeah. But it's like way, Putin said his daughter da- has like it dangerously early of, you know, like it's, they're not done with the human trials, <laughs> but they're pushing it out. And the article I read, they haven't given it to the military. Who knows? Yeah. Who, who, who knows? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Whatever. We were but, talking um, about vaccines, me and Talia. And I was like, I was kind of mentally adding up like all the bullshit we had to have pre-deployment or like the swine flu came out and they're like, Hey, there's a vaccine and you all have to get it. Yeah. I remember getting that being like, fuck, I don't want this vaccine, but I had no choice. You vaccinate your kids. Oh uh, yeah. It was like normal. Yeah. Then yeah, we don't do it all at once. Like they're 20 fucking one vaccinations at one. Like we space them out and and get them. But yeah, yeah, the boys are on top of their shit. There's only it's at the year where they give them like five in one day. Yeah, like the, you can a, you can either give them five in one day or space those shots out. And we're just like fucking stick them because it's not <clears throat> it's not it doesn't not put fun. them in health risk. But like, wh- what do you want? Do you want th- do you want three shots? Do you want four shots in a day, or do you want one shot a week for four weeks? The last time because they're all spaced out. All the kids are spaced out a year. Um, two of them needed boosters for one of the old ones. So the two youngest only <coughs> needed one shot, and then the two older ones needed older one needed needed two. Yeah. And then oh yeah, you got all, yeah you y'all, So I guess ours are ours are always at the same. They're time. always at the same. You just so, fucking hold them down. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's our, that's our administrative intro, um, getting into the topic of the show today. We got questions. We're going to redo the episode we recorded a month ago. Yeah, we got a lot of questions. We got a, we got a lot of questions. So if we don't ever get to some of them, just know that like I have read them. Yeah. And and so these are all coming through, um, savage me at Derek com. Yep. Right. Yeah. So if you have if you have any questions when we do these when we do these shows where we do questions from the internet, this is where we're getting them from now on. It's the email. Just email us your question. Savage me at derekwhite.com. Can be about anything. Um, Owen picks them. I pick them. I, I I hear them candidly. Um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna be and so like typically we get asked fitness questions and yep. stuff like that. And my patience is extremely low right now or just my patience for for boohoo problems well then i won't because ask you no no one. like ask them ask them <laughs> like don't 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 like it's just like if you like you're just gonna get like my cold <laughs> my cold tough love advice today probably i'm always if you're getting and savage compassionate. it's just like you know like with everything i got going on right now it's a life gets hard sometimes or i was thinking about it or, uh, here's something before we, we don't get, have any boohoo questions, yeah okay yeah but okay good we good. don't these are these um, are these are solid ones. Yeah. All right. Let's just let's just get into that before I rant about something I 
don't want to rant about too much time to think yeah no hey this so this one's this one's from jerry um and this is kind of something we were just talking about first off can we get a list of uh podcasts that you owen and stacy listen to I honestly need something in between your shows. I like Drinking, Bo- Drinking Bros podcasts, but I need some variety. So I know you've got a couple podcasts that you swear by. I listen to a couple. Like, I listen to Joe Rogan and Things You Should Know, but I listen to more courses. I'm kind of a course addict right now. Yeah. I buy courses about videography and and production stuff and and I mostly spend my time listening to those things but I know you have like podcasts that you actually follow well, I I only listen to Jocko podcast oh that's it and yeah like yeah uh, I don't I can't um Stacy listens to Joe Rogan and Stacy listens to this sh- uh, a podcast called the happiness lab yeah, that's I've right. listened to an episode or two of that that's really cool but yeah. like dude I um so like you know I've kind of gotten through most of Jocko's that I can find where I really just like I really just enjoy the episodes. I wouldn't say just enjoy. I like the episodes where he interviews people. Yep. Um, different like soldiers, um, uh, Vietnam era or, you know, like Iraq and things like that. I like those interview shows, you know, yeah. um, not really. What's, what's Matt's, what's Matt's podcast? Free range. Yeah. I've been listening to free range. Yeah. The I last just, few weeks. See it likes for like, and it's, pro- it's probably great. I just, that's pretty good. But so, but I listen to audiobooks, man. Oh yeah. You know, I do like, too. I'm a book. I'm actually in on that, uh, David Goggins book right now. Okay. Can't hurt me. Yeah. Uh, kind of. Yeah. No, dude, it's great. It's just, um, um, I, the, it's a, it's a long, it's a long intro and it's about like childhood and growing up and things like that. And I just, um, I'm sure, I'm sure like it's good. Like what he went through is fucking so far sounds tough. It's just, I don't, I don't know. I waiting for it. It's a long right. intro, you know, but I'm going to, I'm going to stick the book out, but I just finished, um, you know, I just finished, uh, the Malcolm Gladwell book yep. talking to strangers. I got Jack Carr's book coming and then actually I'm going to fucking, so I listen to Jocko and he, and his favorite book he says is, uh, a book called about face. Um, okay. it's written by Heckworth. Uh, I can't remember, but anyways, he never shuts the fuck up about this book. And he's like, this is my favorite book of all time. So I'm going to read that. I'm going to see what the fuck it is. So Sound I'll let list. you know about that. Yeah. So, um, not, not super huge on, I looked for podcasts about like American history and world. I would, I was looking for, I would like really dumb podcasts. Cause I like <laughs> shows about, I like documentaries about outer space. I like yep. documentaries about world history yep. or American history, yep. things like that. There's actually like this cool YouTube channel called crash course if you if it, it's really cool while you just like so i only watch these things when i'm like sitting down eating food right um but crash course world history crash course american history it's like animated cartoons the guy's a super fucking huge nerd okay he's like your nerdiest history teacher yeah but yeah so i'm not i don't listen to podcasts really um yeah but just i listen to the jocko podcast pretty frequently like i'll catch some of it daily you yeah. know but i'm more into the, like books I like audiobooks i'm yeah. a big i'm a big audio mm-hmm. what is it audible yeah audible. yeah yep. yeah stacy got the audible i'm about dude like i know you guys love amazon but like i just love how convenient it is i right, actually don't like, like the company you're like supporting much. a monopoly you're perpetuating it's all, yeah. a monopoly yeah <laughs> it's fucking convenient yeah well yeah i, I refuse to get a uh well good amazon stand yeah. up for the little guy Derek. <laughs> yeah um what else we got we got a question from tyson um he says hey guys first off love the podcast been a huge fanboy of Derek wida for a couple years now i like this guy yeah sounds sounds (laughs) incredible he talks well he Uh seems he sounds he seems well educated (laughs) he's got a great 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 taste yeah (laughs) 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 oh on an episode with brandon owen talked about shooting a video with the 10 pillars it was the three pillars um and can you touch on that also what is one of Owen and Derek's favorite military moments? Um, so do you remember the video that we're talking about? This is one that I actually wanted to run an ad with. And it was the one where you're sitting at the, 
you're sitting at the whiteboard and you were talking about you can eat. Oh for yeah, fit. Prior, prioritizing your goals. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it was three goals, and it was and Brandon, who also spoke about it in in his background, yeah. he called it the pillars, and it was the three pillars. So this is what this question is about. Yeah. Okay. No, I. Under, so was he asking us to elaborate on that or something? Yeah, I think so. Can you can you touch on that? Okay. So what what like so we could redo that video because it was, that was a video for the white group and yeah, it was just, video. it was just spontaneous and like right. with a little bit more planning and structure, it could come off as more coherent. But what, what, what this question is talking about is prioritizing fitness goals. Um, because one of, one of the big things people fucking screw up is they bounce around. They, you know, it's like y- y- someone shows up to the gym and they're like, Oh, I'm on a bulk. I'm just bulking. I'm going to get strong. And then two days later, they're like, I'm on a cut. And they do that because like somebody, they're like, I want to go on a bulk. But then they get a little fat. They, you know, they get a little, little, little bit more body fat than they yep. want to see in the mirror. So they freak out and then they go on a cut, you know, but then, so they cut for two days, but then they, they're, they feel a little bit weaker than they want to feel. So they go back on the bulk and it's just people don't, um, you got to take the good with the bad in fitness. And, and, um, the worst thing you can do is bounce around and not commit, you know? And so what that is, what we're talking about here is like, so these, these three pillars, I guess we're calling them right now is what aesthetics, aesthetics, conditioning and strength. Yep. If those are the three main things in fitness and the way we broke it down in the video is like, so those are your three categories, strength, conditioning, aesthetics, aesthetics is how you look. Yep. Um, conditioning is how fast and far you move. Strength is, you know, your one rep strength. Yep. Um, and we said we, this was for our coaching group and said, give people 10 tallies and you can divvy up those tallies. However you want, you can put four in strength, three in conditioning, three in athletics, aesthetics, and you can be relatively okay across Mm -hmm. the board, but you won't be as strong as you can possibly be. You won't be, you can't be can't be all of them all of them at once i mean some people can with a lot of drugs yeah okay so like but drugs excluded outliers excluded yep the the average person you just no. so you pick you pick a goal so say say you're like i want to go strength okay do you want to go 10 strength because so when i did powerlifting i put 10 in strength i put zero in conditioning i put zero in aesthetics yeah and i got fucking big fat I was, yeah. it was gross. Yeah. Like I was, I was for me and, and I'm used to having abs yep. being lean and fast. Yep. And so, but, but, but I, I had one goal in that powerlifting stint and that was to be strong. Yeah. And that's all that mattered to me. Yep. And so, so you like eight, you ate accordingly right, if I with cared, that. So if, so if I, if, if I was, if my main goal was to be strong, but I was putting five tallies in aesthetics then without knowing it, I wouldn't be reaching my strength potential. Right. You know? So it's all about what is your fucking, but you have to have a, a timeline on your goal. You're mm-hmm. like, so for me, it's like, okay, my meat is, I have, you know, a 10 week prep for 10 weeks. I'm going to dedicate all of my 10 points to strength. Yep. And then I'll figure out what's, what's next for me, you know, but I'm going to see that through. So that's, that's, that's really all that is, is, you know, figuring out what your goal is and then dividing those tallies and then sticking to it, you know? So like right now, um, my, uh, now that I'm in CrossFit training, I have more tallies in conditioning. I'd say like I got seven in conditioning, three in strength, zero in aesthetics. I'm not eating or training for aesthetics, right? I'm eating and training for conditioning and my i'm maintaining relative strength but it's not my focus right now you know right so like that really all that is is about prioritizing what your goal is eating and training for that goal and committing to that until you've reached that goal and yeah. not fucking bouncing around and shit like that yeah i think when we were doing it on the whiteboard for that video it was it was focused on food i think the purpose of that video or whatever we were making mm. that day was food and so mm-hmm. you were really dialing it into the like you you are eating for specifically one of those yeah mm-hmm. you know you, you can eat right. super fucking clean yeah if you want to maximize you, strength potential right get, or get, stop caring about aesthetics because all your fucking all your goal points are in the strength category. Right. So live for that. Right. So you're eating, yeah. you're fucking eating everything. Just, and so like the whole point of it was to, the the real point I wanted to drive home in that is telling people to fucking 
commit to their goal entirely. Yep. Take the good with the bad and and don't don't be wishy-washy. That's the worst thing the worst thing you can do is start something and not finish and then start something else and not finish. Start something and not finish. You will only ever accomplish nothing. Accomplish things. See things through. And then so for me in powerlifting it was like, "Hey, okay, I did this. I accomplished what I set out to do. I don't like that." I don't like living that way. So I'm not going to live that way. I'm glad I did it. Right. I learned some shit and I don't, I'm not a shit, you know, like it's like, Oh, I had, I had 50 pounds of fat to lose. So that was easy. You know, right. <laughs> like what the, it just took time. I, I knew exactly what I needed to do. Right. You know, I just, you know, um, but it was, but, um, it's better to, um, see something through, see things through and take the good with the bad. Don't be wishy washy about goals. That's what that was about. So second part of that was what uh what is one of Owen and Derek's favorite military moments? What's yours? I, I You got a favorite one? Um or one of one that stands out sorry. in significant I have a bunch of little ones. There's a, yeah, I got a lot of favorite moments. Um you know, some some of my best times um I uh I I I have one um I had this buddy. I had a friend, um Benjamin West. And we used to, we were at Fort Bragg there, you know, and um, we were both super fucking gung ho. Right. Just like gung ho, dude. In our off time, in our off time, we would put our rucks on and go run yeah. in Area J. I do that. And we would IMT. I mean, it's like super nerdy shit, yeah. man, but we were all, all about the life. We would, um, we would, um, I remember this one day specifically, it was fucking raining. And Area J is like this wooded area, sand paths, you, you know, things like that. Um, so we were, we were running with our rucks on out there. Um, the paths were covered in, it was in water and we were like, I am teeing and running and things like that. And I can't, I, and, um, it was just times like that, you yeah. know, like just getting, getting stupid with good fucking friends, you yeah. know, like, um, dude, I, obviously I always love, um, doing physical fitness type stuff, you know? So I have a bunch of really cool memories. I just, I get, for some reason, I thought of that. And I remember one time in my rucksack, I put a case of beer. And, <laughs> and after one of the runs, I came back and I was cl climbing rope. Okay. And like it progressively got lighter because I was drinking the beer, <laughs> <laughs> you know, kept doing a bunch of rope climbs with beer in my ruck, but the, like, the, so but the ruck got lighter because yeah. I just kept drinking the beer, you know, <laughs> that's a fucking good way to live your life, man. Being a yeah. soldier was fucking cool. It was you cool. Know? Yeah. Yeah. I can't think of. I can't think of one. I mean, I think the most impactful one was uh, a deployment down to Guatemala. We had, uh, and I might have talked to this in the podcast when you interviewed me, where we went down there and we were the last rotation going through rebuilding after this hurricane. And um, the uh, we had a shitload of like shelf stable food that they were going to literally bury. And our first sergeant was like, nah, fuck that. We'll find like a little orphanage or something. And we drove these three five-ton trucks up into the hills and went and delivered food to this. Like like whatever you picture of a starving orphanage in the hills of Guatemala, like that's literally what we showed up to with three five-ton trucks and just started downloading the food. And all the kids were coming out and like not letting us do the work. And they were like moving boxes into their house. Just fucking cool shit. You went with the feel good, huh? Well, it went with the feel good. That yeah. was that that one sticks out in my head the most as the one that uh, like impacted my life the most. And I think it's because of when it happened. I was probably 20 when I went when I went down there. And so it just completely changed my perspective of like things that are important oh, yeah. when I came home. Mm -hmm. But no, I remember like jumping out of a plane for the first time and like landing there and unhooking the one fucking riser and kind of like laying there and like, I can't fucking believe I just did that. Uh, yeah. That was the coolest thing. Jumping was fun. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. Did I, my, I, it's like, so it's like, <laughs> so fun, much fun. like funny memory, like, but the, but the, uh, like the funniest things that happen on like jumps, like this is just how it, like there was this one, um, I can't remember what it's called. There was a, uh, a drop zone in, um, I don't remember any of the names. Like, it's, I don't think it was Nymagen. I can't remember the name of it, but anyways, it was just fucking sand. Okay. Super fucking nice drop zone. Um, but there was two briar patches and they weren't large, okay. you know, and <laughs> I fucking landed in the fucking briar patch, which is fine. Like my body, it's a little prickly or something like that. Right. So these are just like pokey sticks. Yep. Like really pokey sticks. Yep. Whole fucking field of sand. Beautiful. Two smooth. little fucking briar patches. <laughs> and I land in a fucking briar patch. And that was fine. I didn't get hurt or nothing like that. Uh, the annoying thing 
pulling my fucking shoe oh, yeah. in through a fucking dude. My shit was so <laughs> ate the fuck up when I put it in the bag. There's just sticks hanging out and everything. And there, and I was just like, fuck you. Here's my fucking shoot. You know, it was like a Hollywood jump, which means right. we were jumping in the day with no gear and stuff like that. And I was just like, fuck this shit. Like I just, dude, <laughs> there was more, there was more stick in my fucking shoot bag than there was parachute. I remember that I was fucking pissy, dude. But, um, you know, yeah. but I, I, there's like, but we had a, we had this guy, uh, fucking, his name was Kingery. He's, he was a, he was a fucking ogre. He was that guy that is just dumb and strong. Just, you know, you yeah. got those guys like oh, yeah. super funny dude, yep. a huge drinker, but like in a really cool way, you know, he shit his pants at the PX, but like <laughs> this motherfucker, like, you know, like, right. You know, he's but so this cool. Motherfucker, yeah. Like, but you know, he's just, he's that guy, you yep. know, he'll drink till he fucking poops his pants. That's it. You know, we were out to dinner at a Mexican place. I think it was wine that got him. Like he drank way too much wine and the sugar and then, just and then pooped. Fucking... Yeah. And I wasn't out with him. I was just, I was at the barracks and he, his, his room was across from mine at the end of the hall. <laughs> and he just came running down in his fucking flip flops and he was a heavy footed motherfucker, you know? And I was like, what the fuck's going on? He's like, I fucking shit my pants. <laughs> you know? Anyways, this dude jumped and I don't know if he didn't release. I don't know what the fuck he landed on his saw. And he fucking bent the saw. So it looked like a fucking bow and arrow. Yeah. It was like just shit like that, you know? Anyways, don't don't get us started on um funny stories. Um uh, the army, your time in the military is full of them. Yeah. Tons of them. All right. Podcast question. Hey guys, love the show. Got a couple questions. I would like to hear on the podcast. This is from CJ. What is a good time? Good, good amount of time to rest between sets. All right. So, um, <sighs> it depends on, it, it depends on what, what you're training for. And, um, uh, it depends on what part of the workout it is. So like for me, if, if you're doing like your, your heavy sets, your strength work, like, so it's say, say you're doing the white away, which is available on DerekWhite.com. It's my classic training program, right? Yep. Just we'll use this for, it's my classic training program. When you're doing your big lifts, you know, when you're doing your warm ups, you know, shorter rest, you know, you, you kind of just, you take that as you, you know, you're just lifting lightweight, but when you're in those like sets of three, sets of one things like that but powerlifting taught me to shut the fuck up and rest right and when i when i rest i'm not just like i don't when i when i'm in between heavy singles i give myself three to five minutes okay that's a long time yeah and but i like so i like that that's but i stay focused i, I put my hoodie back on mm -hmm. i pull my hood up i got my music going and I'm just trying to like focus and stay warm. And You're I, listening and I to like a, a whole song. In I between. think about, I think about my breathing, okay. but I, but I, I, you have to wait. You have to, if you're, if you're in like, if you're in your strength portion of your workout and you know, the CrossFitters fuck this up all the fucking time. They're like, okay guys, 10 minutes to find your one rep max back squat. No, that's not how that shit works. It should, it should take you like a good 20 to 30 minutes. So for me now, um, I like to give, I like to run myself on a every three minute on the minute type thing. If I'm doing just a few reps, like yep. between one and four reps of 85% plus, I just, every three minutes seems to be a good time for me. It's not too much. It's not too little. Two minutes is, is too little. Four minutes, it's, it's hard to stay focused. So I like to, I like to set, you know, every three minutes on the minute and for, However long, you know, if, if I have to do five by three at 90%, all right, every three minutes on the minute. So between three and five minutes, but then that's your strength stuff. But when you're doing accessory work, go ahead and speed that shit up. If it's, if it's light sets of accessory work for 12 to 15, you know, rest for like 30 to 60 seconds. Don't let yourself cool down, you know, but really it's hard to, it's hard to tell people exactly how long to rest it's just you got to listen to your body. You know, if, if you're doing strength and um, you're, you're not giving yourself enough rest, you're going to feel it. You know, and if you're doing accessory and you're lollygagging and you're starting to cool down, you're going to feel that. So um, that's my answer for that. What else has he got? He's got another one that kind of has to do with, so I can't tell which program he's doing um, of yours, but it says, it says, for the at, oh, for the at home, I've been substituting some of the barbell work I've been substituting in some barbell work instead of the dumbbell portions. 
Do you have any guidance for this as to what I should and shouldn't sub or maybe not sub at yeah, all? Do the so fucking fit program. Like, you know, like if, um, uh, if you got a barbell and plates and stuff, so our at home program he's talking about, um, our at home program on Derek com. There's what two, there's two 12 week iterations of that. Three. So there's, there's three now. Isn't there? Uh, no. So I think there's two. Six months of the at-home training program. There's three so fucking fit programs. That's what it is. Okay. Yeah. So um, all you need for the at-home program is dumbbells, kettlebell, and body, body weight. weight. Yep. But the leave the programs alone as far as if you want to if you want to add a barbell, just do the so fucking fit programs. Yeah. You know, and then what what you don't have for equipment wise for those programs, you can modify. Yeah. Okay. I would rather you modify the so fucking fit program than incorporate a barbell into the at home program. Yeah. Because they're no, nah, it's just a little bit. That that's my advice there, and we're like we're, like I'm not asking you to fucking break your bank and buy a whole new program with the code Saturday. 16 fucking dollars. Yep. So go ahead and <laughs> and upgrade, that. man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Upgrade. All right. Uh, how quickly after workouts should you drink the post workout shake? I'm using Formula One in an ignition. Uh, and I actually think I do the workout just so I can have the reward at the end because the stuff's so damn good. Who, who wrote that? The same guy, CJ. Oh, He's fucking got, A. Yeah. I like this guy. CJ's I like guy, this guy. Yeah. That, that's exact. So, dude, um, we, I gotta, we gotta, so actually, we have shaker bottles now. But I don't know. They, they must have been delivered. Yeah. But we, we haven't put them on the website or anything like that. So I bring, I mean, as soon as I bring my post-workout shake to the fucking gym. Yep. To the gym. As, literally, as soon as I'm done working out, I drink that shake. Yep. I mean, within five minutes. You can go ahead and give it, they, like, the anabolic window is 30 minutes or something stupid like that. I don't drink it right. It's called post-workout. Yep. Right the fuck after. Just right the fuck after. Bring it to the fucking gym. And there's these little fucking... um. Um, super convenient things that I carry. It's called uh, um, the Vitapack the, things. No, right? no, no. The Jacks pre post. Um, shit, dude. I, I can I can Google it super quick, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go to Google right now, and I'm gonna type in Jacks J A X X pre post. That's all I'm typing, and then boom, right there, that thing. Okay, you, you know you see me have that. Oh all yeah, the time? yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's I typed into Google Jacks J A X X pre post. Yep. And then it's just, it's just like pre post workout container. Yeah. I fit my whole post workout in the big section. And then the little section, I put my intro workout, yep. either EAAs or intro formants. Throw that in my gym. I load it up before I go to the gym, put it in my gym bag. So that holds your scoops yeah. of the powder. And yeah. then you can just mm -hmm. mix it in with yeah. water at the gym. It's not some stupid, dorky looking funnel thing or something like that. Like this thing looks cool and it's super convenient. You're not breaking out like right. a beaker or no. anything. Mm -mm. No. So the last one, this made me laugh. He said, last one. Can Owen be promoted to co-host? No. He's done a decent job. Yeah, we're not looking for decent in a co-host. <laughs> <laughs> if not, I understand just trying to help him out a little. <laughs> Thanks, CJ. Uh, Thanks. Uh, we'll take it under consideration. It's being reviewed right yeah. now. It's a lengthy review process. Yeah. What would your title be? I don't know. I, I, mean, I have it as almost co-host on my Instagram profile. Yeah, that's... Oh, that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> almost co-host. Almost co -host. Almost co-host. Well, I mean, you did get promoted. I just did. Just not officially. Like, we gave you a microphone. It's like, listening to, listen to the, the episode last week. How bad was it? I didn't listen to it. I mean, it was fucking awful, but it was like... <laughs> it was funny. We knew it was awful at the time. And I actually, like, I stand by... I, would, I, I thought of, I think it would have been cool if this whole fucking time you still didn't have a microphone or a camera and just nobody knew like who the fuck I was talking Who's to. Who's Derek talking yeah, to? Yeah. Yeah. You know, <laughs> that'd have been funny. Oh, I think we got time for one more. Let's see. My wife is kind of new to fitness, but she has low motivation. I try to help her out, but she says she needs to, she needs a set program so she doesn't have to think about it. Good news. We have something. Yeah. I figured guidance from Derek would help because she is a right leg, AK amputee as well. And there are probably things two legger, a two legger like me doesn't understand about movement, balance, any help and program advice would help a lot. Thanks. And keep slapping Heath. I mean, she can do any of our programs. She can. Cause I can, if, if I can do it, so can anybody else. Yep. Plain and simple. And then like this low motivation thing, I don't like, I don't have the patience for that right now. Like get your fucking shit together. Take care of your health and fitness. Fucking eat good. Exercise. Give a shit about yourself. 
I don't, I don't, I'm not, we're not going down that road. You know, if you got low, low motivation, the only thing I got to tell you today is just shut the fuck up and get to work. Get to I work. don't care. You know, <laughs> like, I just had the COVID and I don't yeah. care. I got fucking, oh, like my new socket doesn't fucking work. What? So yeah, doesn't it? The, the one that you've been waiting on mm-hmm, and just got yep. fitted. So I got a leg that's too big. I got fucking COVID-19 got like, holy and shit. It, and it's okay. And it, and I'm just, and I just sort of laugh at it. And it's like, Oh, of so cor- what? Of course it's not yeah. going to fit. So actually like, you know, it's been really poor. You know, they say when it rains, it pours. Right. It's really been pouring on my life lately. And, but I'm not, I don't feel beat down. I don't feel defeated, you know? Right. And, and I was thinking about it the other day and I was like, man, you know, I think, um, I th- think some people mistake having a hard life with having always had too easy of a life. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. It's like, it's like I, 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 I've had a challenging life because I got shot young you know, like mental health things. Like I don't have it. The, I'm not saying I have it the worst, you right. know, but I've had an interesting, I, I, I definitely have faced real adversity mm-hmm. in my life. Not, I mean, just like real fucking adversity, you know? And I think that's cool because like, I'm just able to deal with shit and yep. not get boohoo and not complain and stuff, you know? And I, you know, the way I, we hear stories like this. People are like, oh, I'm low motivation because of this or that. Or, and then actually just today, somebody was like, hey, man, I just had a kid. When should when did you start working out after having kids? When should I start working out? I was like, get your fucking shit together. Fuck. I was like, I started a powerlifting prep three days after I had twins. Yep. All right. I don't like what I don't know. Like, what do you need? Fucking. I was like, and I told this guy, I was like, do not go ahead and give yourself time off because I'm going to tell you what happens. You're going to take a couple weeks off. That couple weeks is going to turn into a couple months, a couple months, a couple years. Then you're going to be writing me and be like, Derek, I gained a hundred pounds because I had kids three years ago. I'm like, no, you didn't. You gained a hundred pounds because you got fucking weak and lazy. You know, or I just was thinking about, um, you don't need a gap year. I've never, nothing, nothing has ever stopped me for some reason or something like that. And I was, I was, Like when I was in college, I lost my license because I got DUIs and I had jail problems. I was doing community service, but you know what I was still doing? I was walking to school before class to do my cardio. I'd go to classes and then I'd either work out after or like because my schedule was sometimes I'd walk to and from school two to three times a day. And it was like a mile and a half um, to, to get my two workouts in and get my classes in. And I was doing all. So anyways, um, with everything going on right now, the competition so soon, it's easy for me to feel like overwhelmed by these problems. Mm -hmm. And I'm just, I'm seriously, I'm just like, (laughs) good. I don't fucking care. Like it doesn't matter. I like one challenge is one challenge arises and it's like, Oh, okay. Okay. What do I need to do to take care of that? All right, let me fucking handle it then. You know, it's just kind of weird. So, um, you know, this, uh, you know, this low motivation, missing a leg. I get it. That shit's tough. But if you need a program, we got programs on DerekWhite.com. You can literally do fucking any of them. Yeah. You know, and I'll tell you what, like, appreciate you writing on behalf of your wife, but it is not, it is not that guy's job or responsibility to, 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 to pick that person up. Or like, I you, disagree you, you with can't, that. But you can't do much. You can't do much. You can encourage somebody. But you have to let people do their own fucking thing. Oh yeah, you know the, if somebody if somebody if somebody's like like feeling really lazy and sorry for themselves, and you try to encourage them, you're gonna meet you're gonna get met with a ton of resistance. You know, like a ton of fucking resistance. It's it's a fucking it's a tough thing. It is a tough thing. Right. I think he has to try, and I think he's trying. You know, but uh, but you're right. She has to she has to yeah. like get to that point where she's like, all right, I'm gonna fucking bust this out because because yeah. mm-hmm. this guy can do it, so I can do it. Yeah. So any like a good a good place to start with our programs is the at home program for sure. Just because of the yep. minimal equipment, yep. the the at home program on DerekWhite.com code Saturday gets you twenty percent off, right. sixteen so it's like fucking 16 dollars, bucks. and it's like a really good introduction to your body and how it moves. Yeah. There's nothing technical, nothing complicated. It's hard. Yep. You're gonna do a lot of burpees. Yep. Like it sucks, and she's gonna be doing burpees on one leg. Guess what? Those suck. Yep. What are you gonna do? You got one. You know, <laughs> like yep. it is what it is. You got one leg. Yeah. Now. It is what it is. And then, um, you know, progressing to, uh, um, 
I mean, the White Away is a good beginner program too because it's literally the fundamentals right. of classic training. Right. Super safe, uh, isolated movements. It's like it's difficult in the rep scheme because right. like, but you you you. That's one of the programs where you you get what you put in because you pick your numbers there. Like right. I, I give you the reps, but you pick your numbers your and the more you push yourself, the better, um, results you're going to get. But yeah, I mean, you know, the at home program is a great place to start and I hope she does. I hope she does. Yeah, uh, I do I too. And like, you guys can fucking do it together. You know, you guys can do those workouts together. I don't know if that'll fuck with his program or what, you know, I don't change my training routine for someone else. No. Like you can fucking do what I do or not. You know, <laughs> like, have your own. I'm not gonna go. You can come up to my level. I'm not gonna. So I don't know. That's my that's my answer there. Yeah, I think uh, you got you got one more. Or uh, yeah, let me find okay. one more. I've had a couple uh, that are tech related that we are just not gonna go over on this podcast because oh, yeah. I know Derek doesn't. Is it like care about people talking? wanting to know how to fucking start a podcast? Yeah, or podcast and microphone stuff. I will say if you're interested in stuff like that, hit me up on Instagram because I love talking about this shit. I'm at O Lowerman. Um, I will be more than happy to talk microphones and cameras and shit like that. Joel has a question. This must have been come in when we were talking about recovery. Hey guys, since you're on the topic of recovery, do you have a type of active recovery or not, or just not work out all the time for rest days? Also, do you still supplement on, hold on. Also, do you still supplement as you do on a workout day? As a rest day. So two questions there. Yeah. Active recovery. What do you do on active yeah, recovery? Yeah, so active active recovery days, um, typically for me, it just means less weight. Okay. You know, like I'll still work out for two yeah. hours on an active recovery day, but it's at it's it's programmed less weight, like significantly less. Like maybe I'll lift like 50, 60 percent. Is that how your then, deload weeks are? So also D, D load D, yeah okay D load is yeah but so like so like today is my active recovery day right Wednesday one session one workout and um you know because Monday Monday Tuesday Thursday Friday I train twice a day Saturday I train Sunday I'm off completely so today um just one workout um it's easier on paper and I approach it easier. It's an active if if I if I start getting too motivated I'm trying too hard yep I'm doing the opposite of what I need to be doing that day. My, my goal today is to rest and feel like I want to move my body. Right. Um, but my goal today is to feel amazing tomorrow or as good as I possibly can tomorrow. So I go hard as fuck Monday, Tuesday. Yep. I'm fucking beat up. You know, Wednesday I move my body, I get some training in, but my goal is to be able to go hard Thursday, Friday. Then I make it to Saturday and then I work out Saturday and Sunday. Um, I don't work out on Sundays and then I don't supplement on Sundays. Like I take, I take my, so like, I don't take training supplements. I don't need pre-workout. Right. I don't need intra-workout. Right. I don't take a post-workout um, shake, but I get my smoothie. I just, I get all my shit from real food on okay. non-workout days, yeah. you know? And, um, but I still take my microfactor, vitamin C and D. Greens and reds. Greens and reds. Yep. That's all the same. Yep. It's just all my other supplements support my training. Yeah, if I'm that not makes training, sense. you know, that makes sense. Yeah. So, so in your smoothie, you're still doing like, uh, the formula one, formula one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're still getting yeah. protein, right? But you're, but you're not doing the post-workout shake, no yep. ignition on yep. Sundays. Um, you know, yeah. Give my body a little, little reboot day yeah. from there. Yeah. That's a good question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a really good question. Yeah. I love, dude, I used to go, I used to, I used to go hard as fuck. Active recovery days are a beautiful thing. Yeah. I like to throw that shit right there in the middle of the week now on Wednesday. And you, you think it, you, you've, it's, it seems counterproductive because you're doing, you're up doing less on purpose. Right. But, um, I used to go hard as fuck Monday through Friday and I would just get worse and worse as the week went on. My performance by Friday was just shit. Yeah. I try as hard as I possibly could, but physically I was just beat up, you know? Um, and then you get mentally frustrated and things yep. like that. Throwing an active recovery day in the middle of my week. Yeah. It's just been, it's the right thing to do. It's hard to do with a fucking 20, you know, a, a mentality of a dude in your twenties. Right. But, um, I'm, <laughs> if you want to be, if you want to be good on Thursday, Friday, active recovery day on Wednesday seems to be working for me. So, and, and the rest day on Sunday, rest day on doing. Sunday. Yeah. yeah. And Saturdays are pretty damn easy too. And so it's all about like, so Saturdays for me, I just, 
I go at it casually. Yep. But like, you know, Thursday, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, I'm putting out a hundred percent the whole workout. Yeah. But Wednesdays and Saturdays, I'm just, you know, chilling, moving my body, focusing on my breathing, moving my, you know. So yeah. That's what that's what, uh those are all good questions. That's today. a good one. Yeah. Um you guys can write us. <clears throat> Savage question. me. Savage me. At DerekWida.com. At DerekWida.com. That's gonna do it for us this week. Thanks for joining us. We're happy to be back. Very happy. I'm going to go lay in bed for a while because I got the <laughs> fucking, well, I'm on the mend. I'm yeah. on the mend from COVID. Um, hope you guys have been doing well. As always, we love you. Cheers. <laughs>